Executor, the traitorous Ulrizaj and his Dark Templar compatriots have escaped. But we shall not rest until they have paid for their crimes against our people. In the chaos of their escape, Ulrizaj and his minions were able to steal one of our sacred Kedaran crystals. I do not know what possible use he could have for the crystal, but we shall find and capture him nonetheless. Mojo. One of our most experienced scout commanders will explain. The Kadarin crystal that Ulrezaj has stolen produces powerful psionic emanations. And we have used its psionic signature to find the rogue Dark Templar's hiding place. The Terrans that aided Ulrezaj's escape have a small base on Korhal. Although it is unclear as to whether or not the Terran Dominion is still in residence on the planet, we have dispatched observers ahead of our fleet to find a suitable location to land our forces. However, we have been made aware of an unforeseen complication. There appears to be a Zerg brood guarding the Terran encampment. What? This is foul news indeed. The presence of the Zerg leads me to wonder if we are not dealing with Alan Shezar once again. The villainous Terran previously used Protoss technology to enslave Zerg broods to do his bidding. Urizaj may have helped Shezar to duplicate that feat again with the stolen Kadarin crystal. Executor, this is no longer a simple matter of retrieving escaped criminals. This alliance of Urizaj, Shezar, and enslaved Zerg broods must be shattered now, before it poses any further threat to our security. Depart at once and either eliminate the Zerg threat by recovering the Kadarin crystal, or destroy Shedzar's base on Korhal. Executor, our observers have triangulated the positions of our objectives. The emanations of the Kadarin crystal are strongest on an island to the northwest of your position. We have also detected what we believe to be Shedzar's main command centers to the northeast. Good luck, Executor, and Taro Adun. Shedzar. I don't know anything about that old Razaj fellow, but I can tell you where Shezar's main base of operations lies. Just spare the lives of my men here. Terran Commander, your men may go. Pray that we do not meet on the battlefield again. Executor, if these humans do not know where Ul Razaj is hidden, then Shedzar might. Let us depart this world at once. Executor, I am aware that the High Templar find no honor in the prospect of assassination. However, the time has come to finally rid ourselves of an old enemy. To do so, you must rely upon the Dark Templar tenets of subterfuge and stealth. The villainous Terran, Shedzar, whom we have fought against in the past, has finally been found. We tracked him and his private army to an icy lair on the planet Braxis, now we must settle our debt with him, in blood. His combined Terran and Zerg forces are too strong for a frontal assault, and that leaves us with a single dangerous option. You, along with a small covert force of Dark Templar, will be inserted as close to his base as we dare. 
After carefully making your way to his main compound, you must terminate him. Entaro Tassadar. Prepare for insertion. Insertion complete. We have activated the frequency tracker. Shezar's location should appear on your scanners. Shadesar, you stand before us. Your crimes against both our people and the Terrans are considerable. You know we cannot I just... know who I am, and I don't need any morality lessons from you. Urizaj paid me well to break him out of your prison, and so I did. He was fairly reasonable for a Protoss, if not a bit fanatical. Yet, after he and his three cohorts merged together to become the Dark Archon, Urizaj's fanaticism became madness. He kept me surrounded by his Zerg, and even rigged my Goliath to blow if I made so much as a move against him. Fortunately for me, one of your boys made a lucky shot and disabled the self-destruct mechanism before destroying the rest of my Goliath. What does Ulrizaj plan? Well, my part of the plan was to bring the captured EMP device to the station that's orbiting Shakuras. Ulrizaj was going to disrupt your communications and shields with the EMP device and use the chaos to drop his genetically enhanced Zerg upon Shakuras. He hoped that the Dark Templar would run and hide in their secret places, while the Templar from Ayur would be caught out in the open. Without the EMP device, I imagine he will still follow though with the other half of the plan and drop his enhanced Zerg to run amok across your world. He is mad. Yup, he sure is. He'll be bringing new Zerg onto his space station via a warp gate that's connected to his base on Char. Once the Zerg reach his space station, he will be moving them to his genetic stations where the warped catering crystals will transform them into more powerful strains. They will be enhanced with so much Dark Templar energy that they'll probably be able to resist the effects of the Zelnaga Temple on Shakuras. You are beyond trusting, Shazar. But since our own forces are so diminished, we will need all the help we can get in order to stop Ulrazaj's mad plan. If you join your forces with ours, we will merely banish you rather than execute you as many would like. 
I cannot imagine Ulrizaj would take you back into his fold after your betrayal here. True enough. My forces will join with yours for this assault, and then I'll leave this blasted sector for good. I'm not feeling very safe around here anymore. Commence the attack, Executor. Bring the Caterin crystals back to your base to destroy them. Then, when you have weakened the Zerg presence enough with the crystal's destruction, you can move in to destroy the warp gate itself. Shizar, you are no longer of any use to me or my plans, and now you dare to help my hated enemy. Your time is at an end. You bastard. I hope you rot in hell for this. He murdered the boss. Let's go get that crazy dark archon. Need medical attention? Executor, our observers have located the five warped crystals. You must bring back and destroy the crystals before Urizaj does unspeakable things to the Zerg here. Did someone page me? Commander. Holy crap! That ain't your average Zergling, Bob. That thing's a killer. Hope there aren't any more of them. Alan Shezar is dead, and Ulrizaj's mad plans have been ground to dust under the heel of Protoss Justice. Peace has returned to the world of Shakuras, where the united Protoss look forward to a shining future. Yet out beyond the twilight skies of Shakuras, the mad Archon Ulrizaj still hungers for revenge against the Templar, and his hatred burns with more fury than any of the stars above. <laughs>